So my viewers and subscribers, welcome back to my channel, Ben's Airsoft. Uh, today is going to be the day that I build my green alien. And here I got a stainless model 5.1 high kappa, which I'm going to build that green alien on. So, alright, let's get into it. Let's move this. Take this slide off. Punch them out. Right here. And we're gonna start in. We're gonna do this in sections. So I'm gonna build the top first. Then I'm gonna move to the slide, and then the lower. Right. Okay, right. Gonna disassemble this. First, so we can get to the blowback unit. Let's take out this BBU. This is a H two point five. First, gotta remove the sight. Let's remove the sight. Screw. Let's take the screw. Back to the sign. Let's get in here. Take out this PBU. Got stuff flying on. Out here, it's a little. As you can see, that little move section right there. You pull it, angle it out like that. Because you have this knob right here. I actually, you put it in. You gotta put it in like this little angle. You fit that knob right in that little groove. So. Take it out. I'm gonna use this. So this is I got a garden nozzle that I'm gonna replace to put on that. But I'm gonna take out the internals out of this to put in the garden. There's a little screw on here that holds the internal the internals in place on the inside. this boy into the garden so there's a trick to this now where you have to line up this screw hole right there onto this screw hole Down. 
too tight. And screw it down until it gives it a little resistance. And that's it. Here's it. Here's that. I'm gonna replace that with a the green edge light BBU. Also known as the blowback unit. one of the lightest so that's what we're going with so this dill is going to be like almost the, the whole upper is going to be green um so what we can do now we're going to get a little bit of oil on this already we're going to get this boy right here over here with remember how we're going to put this on is that you have this groove right here and you have this notch on the blowback housing they fit in here like so you drop it on there i'm gonna top this off with a 140 nozzle spring Forty. Now a turn spring right here. You have a thicker coil on one of the ends, like this one. If your spring is like this with a coil, it always face the back like that this 140 is not like that so just drop that in there not using this guy rod but using this get that off to the side come here with this okay. that to the side We're gonna top this off now. You're not gonna remember. We're not using this rear sight. We're gonna use the front sight. We're gonna replace this front sight, put it back on here, and place this charging handle. The silver charging handle. As you can see, the cuts right here. It's a two in there. Drop this on there. Drop the BBU right in there. Boom. Just like that. <sighs> Don't have my Loctite, but it's best to put a little Loctite on these screws. Which I'm gonna do it later because I don't have that with me right now. Let's get that screw in. Here. Tighten that. Yeah. Make sure you get that resistance. That's looking good. Get the screw right in there. Wow. That is a nice frame. Well, not frame, slide. A nice slider. Right hmm. Beauty. Nice slide. Got the screw right in there. Assemble 
this. Screwdriver right here. Let's go right there. Carefully get this on oh, the frame, top frame, because there's an arm right here. Let's take that out because of this. Right on top. There's two pieces to it. There's an arm. There's these little, I don't know, what is this called? It's like a washer. It's right in here. As you can see. Put that to the side. Get this out of here. So. You can see there's a way to put it on because there's a groove right here and in the booking you also have that little guide right there that you know let's find that groove and slip it which this is nice it's because it's green you can actually see through it to see that guide that that line that you could just slide it right on there and it fits right there. So press it down, make sure it fits. And then we come in here now. You have to, this slot right there fits in there. Make sure you wanna turn this all the way down. Because we're gonna turn this right, we're gonna put it right in there. If it's not the way in there, then we're gonna come now back with this arm, this washer, put it back right in place, just like that. Here we come, put it back in the way. Then you come in now, you drop this frame, you fix everything right, it should just drop right in place. There you come, put your two screws back in here. Tighten that down, and we don't want to tighten one side all the way down because you want to get it all even and flush. Don't over tighten it. Oh. Now we're going to pair this up now with the LA Cap Custom Tornado arrow. Green Outer Barrel. And this one is nice because it comes with two o-rings which it, it stabilizes the inner barrel they give you three which is nice extra so how this works is you have a groove in there that this actually drop into this move this up because you know a little bit up they lost they last longer Drop this one right in there. Okay, use something to this. Put it and let it fall right in that groove. You can see how well it sits in there. And the other one now. Come in. that one also this one also have the glue back here for it that's where it sits but it's best to put it right on the end of the barrel get this barrel right in it that's the one so it's flush there's like no wiggle right 
access well. Come in here. custom guide rod and all this stuff is going to be in the description it's that tornado guide rod it's going to fit well with all that right there please don't get to like the video and if you're new here subscribe Hit that notification bell. All right. Appreciate y'all. All right, let's get this. Guide rod. This guide rod comes with also plug. The, what this does is gives it a smooth stabilizer as it goes through. As you can see, it's a 140. I wanted to use a 120, 130, but unfortunately, they were not in stock. So, we're working with a 140 for today. Short stroke kit. That's how we're going to do it. Washer. Soft washer. Hard washer. Soft. Let's put it on here. This is a nice looking upper right here. So take off the frame now. There's a screw right here. And two. together with the cow cow hammer regulator what the hammer regulator does is give you a heavier trigger pull so you have two springs you have the gold one which is I think it's the heaviest one and then you have the silver one, which 
is the minus one. So we're gonna go with the gold one. Okay, so we're gonna go with the gold one. And it comes with so it's these washers. You coming in here now? Deal with the hammer regulator. So recently I've learned that I did it on my red bill that I have right here. I have a hammer regulator in here also. What I how I did that one was I put the plug in these views four. So two copper, two silvers. Right? Like that. Which is copper is the softest. And um I put two and I had dropped them in there. So this time I'm gonna different, which I'm gonna have them on top. So I'm gonna do that. Silver, and silver, grass. I have that one. So it on there like that. I'm gonna drop this in here. So this is what's supposed to be in here. There's any. So you have to push this down. Have the safety going. Just like that. You have the hammer regulator. Let's install. You come in now. I have the sear spring. This one is from yourself masterpiece, which I'm gonna have a link down in the description of where I purchased all of my parts in this bill and it sits on there like that but I have to put this frame back so we're gonna work on the trigger we got the unisol green trigger with yourself masterpiece trigger bar so you want to line this up that hole with this one and you drop this safety thing right in there This piece right here, a little screw right here, is to shorten your trigger pull. You want to wind that in there. It's going to feed out the back right here. The more you wind it in, the more it's going to come out, out the back like that and as it goes in here it's this is how you want your trigger to be free when you install it so we're gonna come in now with Sear spring, you're gonna come in with the upper. Okay, the corner of your thumb. And I have that sit right on top. Wait. Let's just put one of 
these grip screws in here. So just hold the grip and the frame in place while we get the hammer. off now we're gonna come in with the image of the custom I mean Magwell before I put the Magwell on let's put on these grip screws so we got the the Unisoft green grip screws again we're going for that green alien look. Everything's working fine. Now we're coming in with the manual. Okay, so we ran into a little fitment issue down here where I'm gonna have to take off or drill out a little piece where this plug can come through and stop. But other than that, we have everything good. Nothing new. Triggers are working. Safety is working. Get you can see, you have a press before you find it. Let's get a little bit of move on here first. A bit of move on here. Move on the line. A little move right here. A little move right here. Right here. Right here.